Yo, what's up YouTube? Brandon Griggs here, back again at Keynote Comics with a different set of uh, direction right now. We got a rant, we got mail, mystery mail calls, we got an unboxing. We got a rant? They got a rant. We're gonna, we're gonna be here for a while, all right? Let me let me just say, as collectors, we know we gotta go through this struggle of dealing with USPS and the foolishness or the foolery that goes on within the system. Not too long ago after I left for Rhode Island Comic Con, we had a situation where the Tomb of Dracula that I did an unboxing for was marked as delivered, but it wasn't actually delivered. And it actually didn't get delivered until the next day. So we can already see where that could be a problem. Because if the system is saying it's delivered and it wasn't actually delivered, then it's kind of like my word against theirs. This time, for this, this package right here, this package, look, 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 this package right here, well, pretty much with this one, where do I even start? One, it wasn't delivered. So it was listed as being attempted to deliver, but they didn't actually even do that. So it was like, I got an eBay notification saying, hey, there was a notice left on the door. They could not leave it because it wasn't in a secure location. But the thing is, they didn't even go up and actually leave a notice. And I don't even believe they actually came up to knock on the door to see if anybody was home. Now I even say that now because today it got delivered and they actually called me to make sure that somebody was home in order for them to even walk into the building to try and deliver it. And we live in a secure location, all right? Why this was a thing, I don't know. I had to sit on the phone the first time for about an hour and 50 minutes just to talk to a USPS rep who was polite, helped me out a lot, but she didn't notify me that the book was not going to be re-delivered. So the next day came around, which was actually the day that it was actually supposed to arrive, but that was based off of the ETA time, didn't happen. So then I had to call again that night just to find out the reason wasn't delivered was because it wasn't scheduled for re-delivery, which I had no idea of knowing that because guess what? They didn't leave a notice. So I'm thinking, oh, it's gonna, you know, come around again. So then I had to, you know, in order to make sure that it got re-delivered when I called, I had to sit on the phone for a little bit more, maybe almost two hours on the phone just to talk to a USPS rep, but it's here. We'll get to what's inside of it. But first, we're gonna start off with Comic Tom's 101 Mystery Mail Call. We haven't done a, one of these in a while. We actually didn't shoot a video for the third one, but this is technically the fourth Mystery Mail Call unboxing. So I wonder what's in here. Did you hear any guesses? What do you think we're gonna get in here? I actually have no idea. I don't expect to get that in here. You can have it. I didn't say I didn't want it. I said I don't, I don't expect to get it. If you do, can I have it? I don't even know what this is, but it already looks pretty dope. Why won't you answer me? Why won't I want answer you about what? If you do, can I have it? Nah. Also, isn't that the back of the book? Yeah, it's the back of the book regardless. It still looks cool. Uh, there we go. Can I have it? Nah. You're trash. You're trash. Oh, wow. This is, uh... Woo! Okay. This is a solid book. Let me 
All right, well, at least let me try to attempt to read. Oh my God, this is a lot. Oh, uh, this is like, this would be, oh, this looks epic. I don't even know what's going on, but look at this. This looks pretty hard. The cover art looks pretty hard, just on, boom. But yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'll attempt to read a little bit of it. If I'm really feeling it, then that means I gotta go back and I guess I can't even, I won't try to complete this if I haven't started from the beginning. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. But then yeah, if you want it after that, it's all yours. What? Are you lying to yourself? What? You didn't even read the new Black Panther yet. Damn, I do need to do that. I'm only behind by what I stopped at four. So I already have five and I already have six and I haven't read them yet. Seven's already out at this time period. We got Judge Dredd year one, which is crazy because you know, there's Batman year one. I didn't know that existed. The boy who would be 007. Um, this does not have a number on it, so I don't even know which one this is. And I didn't even know this existed. It's number seven. Is it? I don't know. Oh, is this just called the boy who would be seven? Nah, because it's 007. It's got the uh, the Walter PPK with the uh, silencer on it right oh, there. Oh, I know. I just said that it was book seven because it was 007. Oh. <laughs> oh, lit. All right, so we got uh, Uncanny X Men 153, which is a, one of my books to get. It was on my list. It was like low on my list, but now that I don't even have to search for that, and it's a really nice copy, so cool. Oh snap, look at this. This is hard. Bring it back, bring it what, right here. Right here. Yeah. Alright. Thanos. And now we have Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one and it is signed uh is it Shannon, Shannon McGuire? Damn, I forgot. Basically, Tom knows the person that worked on this book, and is it focused? Yes. Right down here is her signature. So that's actually pretty cool. Let me add it. Nah, bro. You don't like signed books. It's a little bit different when it's not like sought after signed books that I'm like getting. But it's, it's nice to have, it's cool. Dark Knight's Metal 2 wasn't a sought after. It was a sought after book for me, but I ended up getting it signed. Cause like, you know, I wasn't like, oh, I gotta get this book and make sure I get a signed copy of it. I didn't even was expecting to get one of these books. All right, so anyways, guys, back to it. Now we got this next book. This book was actually not um, huge on my list. I actually came up across it by looking at some other books. It had have been some Captain America books or whatever. So, this is actually a key book. And it's a Captain America book. Hopefully it is not damaged, because I don't think this was packaged the best. It's like somebody A-Town stomped on the top of it. Yeah, and I did not, this is actually one of those books where I messed up and forgot to contact the seller after uh, purchasing it to request, um, my standard way of wanting my books packaged with the, you know, firm piece of cardboard. Yeah, wow. This is it. Oh. What if it's lined with a thousand dollars cash? That's gonna be interesting. What I get for uh, not Woo. not doing that. Um, 
cool. So it is not messed up at all. So this is actually great. Uh, what we have here is Captain America and the Falcon 164, which is... Hey, you the... finally mentioned the Falcon. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Just for you, man. Just for you. So I... Um, this is basically the first appearance of Tilda Johnson, who is... Tilda Swinton? Johnson. Swinton? It's not Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton? Tilda Johnson. First Tilda appearance Fanny? of Nightshade. Dakota Fanning. And I am Sam Outstanding. Where's Bushmaster? Bushmaster. R.I.P. Iron Fist. We lost some great ones. Some hard times in 2018. Let's go ahead and say R.I.P. The Punisher. Why yeah. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. Isn't it? We're not even in. Uh, we're not even the next month yet. Still December. Yeah. Still gonna be canceled. You know, let's let's not speak it into existence. They canceled Daredevil. Daredevil. Yeah, man. They canceled Daredevil. They canceled Luke Cage. But why don't they just announce that uh, they're canceling uh, Jessica Jones already? They gotta let the season play out. If you know they're canceling it, you're not gonna see it immediately. They're playing their cards right, even though we know they're gonna cancel it. All right, so this next book, uh, interesting. I actually don't know too much about this book. This has just been a book that I've been watching for at least, I want to say like two or two and a half years now. Um, I was literally watching a 9.8 copy on CGC and I was actually going to go and purchase it a couple weeks ago or a week ago or whatever. And it sold this year for $589. Now, this one is non-graded. I paid less than that, probably about like four-ish. I don't remember the exact price. But on top of that, it's a very nice copy of the book. And I got an exclusive poster that came with it. So the whole thing was based off of what Shahir told me is that there's only 100 copies made of the book and 50 copies made of the poster. And it's by a pretty big artist uh, from Chicago named Hebrew Brantley. Brantley? Brantley. Hebrew Brantley. So, the character, oh man, peanuts. I don't even know. Where do I even put them? You can't throw peanuts. It doesn't work like that. There's a big mess to clean up and it's not exactly an easy thing. So we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, scoop a little. All right, so this must be the poster. I'm so That's, That's the book? Okay. It's like a super small book. All right, so then this is the poster. All right, so they did put it in a tube. Oh, God. damn, all right. So either this tube is just super big or this poster is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, yeah, no, it's a full-size poster. Oh, wow, okay, I did not know that. Nah, you said you wanted the, uh, the C2E2 one. I'm both of them. But I'm not a racist against because that's what this is. Is it? Technically, yeah, he's right. I said it too soon. You guys aren't uh, anticipating it anymore. Yeah, do that. Oh Lord. Don't up this book, Brandon. You have to use precise precision. T 
Take your time when cutting open the package. All right, so at least it was between secure uh, cardboard, firm pieces of cardboard. It was in packing peanuts. I didn't know what to expect because honestly, I requested that they, they just really assured me that they would uh, package it safely. So kind of had to just take a chance with it, even though I made the request for them to do this. Send this bag. Is this, is this a bag that it came with? It looks like it. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Toy Tokyo. Pete Flower. Let me get that bag. You know what this is? Wait, what? Two copies? Oh my god! Yo! Yo! Yo, you can have one. That is lit! Yo! I just paid for the poster and two copies. There's only a hundred. Oh my god! Yo, here. Take. Yo. Oh this is so lit. Oh my god. Damn! Best unboxing ever. Best. We're, at, we're getting to the end of the year. You don't understand. Wow. Yo. Raw copies have sold for $700. Two <laughs> copies of a, a, a book that's only 100 copies made, and then a poster that only 50. Yo. Yo. They're about to get the best rating of all time. I can't even do this right now. <laughs> oh my God. And honestly, I, this feels great because of all the bull that just went with having to try and get this box here. Cause I, I really don't think people understand like the way I was saying it. Damn. Bruh. You know the sad, the funny thing is, I was just like, as soon as you open it, Jay, I was like, yo, they didn't even bag and board it. And then I saw, I was like, yo. Well, like no, I put my hand in it and I was like, this feels like two books. And then I was like, nah, ain't no way. And then that's why I was like, I looked at the back of that. I was like, wait, is this the poster? But I was like, that's the poster. Bruh. Welcome to Kino Comics. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at this point, I don't want to get too much into what this um, book is. I think we're going to do a, um, a discussion on it. Um, just know that this book is about a character named Flyboy who I'm not exactly sure which one he is right here. That's what I figured it was, but that's the thing. You, we try to look up, you know, information about the book. There's not anything out there besides the main character's name. So we might have to like, you know, read it a little bit. I don't even want to really risk it. Cause this looks like this could just show, like if we try to do that, I don't know. We figure something out, and if we can fit, find out a little bit more about the book, we are definitely going to need to do a discussion on this. I've seen one page, and there was no text in it, so <laughs> it was so confused. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Oh man. I <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> It didn't even say it, in the description. It, yeah, it literally, the description did not say it was two books. So I'm literally thinking it's, it said something about one book and then it's a poster. So like, this is this is awesome. I, I, I can't even say anything. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I just have, I'm just have to be done. I want to open this up, but at the same time, I don't know about putting it back in here. Um, just know that the poster is just supposed to be the same as the cover so it's gonna have this front piece and then this back piece right here. Whew. I'm exhausted. Oh man. Um I guess I'll just add that he is signed a deal with Sony, so at some point this could honestly become a thing if Sony feels like making a movie on this character. Um he does a lot of artwork based off of this character. Very positive, 
things. If you don't know, you should definitely check out his stuff. Um, he makes paintings, expensive paintings, to the point that Jay-Z's bought a painting, Nicki Minaj has bought a painting, George Lucas has bought a painting. They usually go about around $20,000. Any of his clothing, he does collaborations and stuff. That like Anything he pretty much touches goes for money. And so, this is crazy. Like, I didn't know anything about him. Like I said, I was doing some searching on eBay for other books and I just saw the cover and I was just like, oh, this is super dope art. And I just wanted it for strictly the art, not knowing anything that he was connected to it or anything like that. I didn't even know who he was until Shahir told me, but this is probably, this is the unboxing of the year. We're supposed to do our, like, our top, yeah, you know, nah, things that, we haven't even shot that, that discussion yet, but this is it. And I've made some really crazy purchases this year. We had the Tomb of Dracula 10 to Superman Bradman to Fantastic 452. Like some really good pickups this year. Like it's crazy. Like I said, this is the first year I've actually really gone hard on it. But yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our discussion videos. I'm about to go on Instagram and post the stuff for our first giveaway. So we're trying to get to 100 subscribers. We're currently at 49. When we made the discussion, we said we were at 46. So we have gone up some. Once we do that, we will be giving away a near mint copy of Secret Wars number eight. So. Again, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I said watching. See, I'm I'm still in it, all right? It's cool. But like, subscribe, and if you're excited for us as much as we are excited for what just happened, leave a comment. Yeah, I can't say anything else. Peace. <laughs>